Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So, this is the second lecture of DRX in LD, and in last lecture we have seen uh, if network is not configured with DRX, then UE has to decode PDCCH in each and every subframe, and which leads to heavy consumption of battery at UE side. Okay, so to avoid this situation, DRX is introduced. Okay, so there are two types of DRX. Uh, first one is your IDRX and second one is your CDRX okay IDRX is in idle mode DRX and CDRX is also known as connected mode DRX okay so I if means uh, if IDRX is configured in your network then uh, battery of UE can be saved only when UE is in, is in your RRC idle mode okay and if CDRX is uh, configured in your network then UE can save its save its battery in RRC connected mode also and if both are configured then uh, UE can save its battery in both the modes that is in idle in RRC idle mode as well as in RRC connected mode okay so let's start with IDRX okay so this is IDRX okay so uh, if you remember uh, during UE initial attach procedure uh, there means UE has to decode system information block 2 okay this SIP 2 carries uh, parameters Related, related to paging DRX cycle okay and this could be your paging frame and paging occasion okay so these details are provided to UE paging frame it's kind of radio frame I'll tell you how it's different from a normal radio frame and paging, paging occasion is your subframe you can say so this will be of 10 millisecond and this will be of 1 millisecond okay so to understand it in a better way uh, I have to make a diagram okay so suppose this is your first system frame number okay and this is your second system frame number and this is your third system frame number okay and so on okay so this is my SFN zero uh, not zero let's say this is my sfn number 10 i'm picking uh from some means some random value of sfn sfn 10 sfn 11 and sfn 12 okay so this sfn zero will have uh tens of frames 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this 11 sfn 11 also have tens of frames 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this sfn 12 will also have tens of frames 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so let's say uh, means the paging direct cycle it is saying that uh, uh, so let's say it is saying uh, uh, let's say a uh, paging frame is saying to UE that it's just an example suppose saying in every even radio frame UE has to wake up but when in first paging occasion okay so this is our even and this is also our even uh, uh, system frame number okay so UE has to wake up in these uh, radio frames but not for all subframes it will wake up only on 
first suffering here you will wake up here again you will wake up again in sfn uh, 14 you will wake up when it will wake up it will wake up at uh, this first suffering okay wake up means uh, here you will decode pdcch if something is there for you it will receive it okay and again it will go back to sleep mode okay here also you will decode pdcch okay decode pdcch receive whatever it's there for that you okay and again it will go back to its sleep mode this is sleep mode you can say this is sleep mode and this is wake up mode okay and guys this even uh, radio frame that i have written here for paging frame it's just an example means uh, it it would be in radio frames also I mean suppose uh, not radio frame exactly means you will find out means uh, uh, network will uh, provide information to you when it has to wake up okay using this paging frame information and in that frame Uh, there will be a subframe where you has to wake up and decode it pdcs and for rest of the subframe you will go back to in sleep mode okay okay so here you can see that you is not decoding pdcs in each and every subframe and one thing that you have to remember that here a u is in rc idle mode okay here means for uh, means if for idrx you can save its battery in rrc idle mode only so here we are saving ue battery in idle mode only okay and guys this this a uh, paging this paging frame is and paging occasion uh, calculation is little bit uh, means it's quite complicated so i have just given you example that how uh, this idrx will work okay so uh, now uh, i am showing you uh, another diagram this is first sfn this is second sfn and this is your just a second and this is your third sfn okay so uh suppose uh, my ue is in connected mode at this sfn 0 okay uh just a second so this okay so this will have 10 sub frames right Into three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so suppose uh, at this means uh, here my U E is in suppose R C connected mode. Okay, so let me use another color. So here U E is receiving its data. Means browsing, it's browsing internet. Suppose <coughs> suppose U E is browsing internet here. So here U uh, E is in R C. connected mode till here okay so uh, there is rrc in active timer also okay once ue is in rrc connected mode suppose ue has received data in first uh, four sub uh, first 1 2 3 4 first five sub frames ue has uh, received its data in downlink direction okay after that suppose if your rrc uh, inactive timer is set to uh, suppose 8 milliseconds okay so 8 milliseconds means this 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so till this time 
okay means this is means uh uh sorry guys yeah fine suppose rrc in active timer is set to 8 millisecond okay so at this moment your rrc in active timer got expired and ue will return back in idle mode okay so out of these 8 millisecond ue has decoded or not decoded uh, ue has received data in first 5 subframe 1 2 3 4 5 and in rest of the uh, 3 subframes ue is not receiving any data okay okay but still here ue will decode its pdcch okay so uh, means data is not uh, coming here in 6 7th and 8th subframe still ue has decoded P has, ue has decoded the pdcch of these subframes and consumed its battery okay so this will happen if only idrx is configured in your network if uh, cdrx is also configured in network so here also the, for these three subframes uh, battery of ue can be uh, saved okay so this i'll show you in next lecture and uh, cdrx is also um, there there are two types of cdrx long uh, cdrx and short cdrx okay so i'll explain these long and short drx uh, cycles in next lecture okay thank you